Radio 1150 KSAL. And also, sometime in the next 15 minutes, we will ask Dr. Science. Welcome to your morning show, Radio 1150 KSAL. Max McMahon steps up to 15 points. Looks to go along with Hello, and welcome to Radio 1150 KSAL. Since signing on in the spring of 1937, KSAL has played an important part in the lives of Central Kansans. From Pearl Harbor to Desert Storm, from the 1951 Salina Flood to the 1991 Andover Tornadoes, from Joe DiMaggio's 56-game hitting streak to the Kansas City Royals World Championship, from the end of the Dust Bowl to the beginning of the pick program days, and from Frank Sinatra to Elvis, the Beatles, and Paul Simon, KSAL has provided the news, weather, sports, farm information, and entertainment that Central Kansas depends on. During the next few minutes, you'll get an inside look at how KSAL gathers and broadcasts the news, weather, sports, farm information, and entertainment people have trusted for over 50 years. With over 50 years of trust, this is KSAL News. That's more than just a slogan. Because since KSAL went on the air over 50 years ago, Central Kansas has tuned to 1150 for the news and information they need to know. Today, KSAL serves its listeners using the latest in broadcast technology with the worldwide news gathering resources of the ABC radio network and the Associated Press. The KSAL team of reporters go where the news is in Salina and central Kansas by way of three two-way radio-equipped mobile units. KSAL news reporters work from the scene often as a story unfolds, bringing our listeners traffic reports, severe weather coverage, and spot news reports whenever and wherever necessary, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To cover the national news, KSAL uses the top-rated radio network ABC, which includes news and comments from America's number one radio personality, Paul Harvey. Through the years, KSAL News has been honored with many national and state awards for excellence in news reporting. Kansas Live, KSAL's midday telephone, talk, news, and public affairs program, has received the Kansas Association of Broadcasters Award as best public affairs show in the state, on more than one occasion. For news, weather, and sports, Central Kansas turns to KSAL Radio with over 50 years of trust. Weather conditions are of the utmost importance to residents of Central Kansas, and KSAL Radio takes that importance to heart in good weather and bad. In the early morning hours and around noon, our numerous weathercasts take on a real agricultural flavor with reporting on the specific weather information important to the agricultural industry. Twice each hour, KSAL provides a brief synopsis of the forecast, plus the current condition updates. KSAL also is one of the few radio stations equipped with its own in-house color radar, which can stand on its own, or we can use it in conjunction with radar reports from the National Weather Service. KSAL is served by the Weather Service High Speed Data Service, direct teletype connections with the Saline County Emergency Preparedness Department, and a rain gauge readable in the newsroom. KSAL's audience is alerted to adverse weather conditions and forecasts year-round, with distinctive beeps aired every three minutes during the time of such conditions or forecasts. During severe weather activity, as many as 10 of our staff members are activated to man the three two-way radio and scanner-equipped mobile news units to coordinate with storm spotters and law enforcement and to anchor the studio coverage, as well as to monitor law enforcement communication circuits. During such periods of threatening or actual bad weather conditions, KSAL puts the emphasis on the immediate eight counties surrounding area with overview coverage of conditions in other parts of the state. No one covers sports like KSAL. The commitment to coverage of local, state, and national sports is unequaled. KSAL is part of the largest radio network in American League Baseball, the Kansas City Royals Radio Network. Salina is home to the second highest total of K-State alumni, and KSAL has the Wildcat Sports Network on board, bringing K-State fans exciting football and basketball action. 
KSAL also has area high school sports on the air with live play-by-play -play coverage of football, girls and boys basketball, high school and American Legion baseball, and updates from the state high school track meet. Not to go unnoticed, KSL annually provides coverage of the Big 8 Women's Basketball Championship game, the East-West All-Star Shrine Bowl game, the Triple Crown Horse Races, college football bowl games, and as in the case of the 89 and 91 Wichita State Shockers, live play-by-play -play coverage of the College World Series. Each day, KSAL keeps sports fans up to date with five sportscasts each weekday and weekend sportscasts each hour. Area sports fans can also voice their own opinions on KSAL with a sports call-in show each week. Whether it's basketball or football, baseball or golf, sports fans in central Kansas know they'll hear about it on KSAL. That's why KSAL is the central Kansas sports leader. And Stein back to pass. It's a hookup with Weaver at the 15-10-5 touchdown Cougar. The KSAL award-winning farm department has been in existence as long as KSAL radio. KSAL strives to bring immediate livestock and grain markets as well as up-to-date information about agriculture to our listeners. KSAL has two early morning market reports that recap the previous day's activities as well as commentary on why the markets reacted as they did. We have the opening and mid-morning markets as well as the closing markets and Salina Cash Grains. These reports come directly from the commodity firms with satellite reports giving up to the second trades. KSL gathers information personally as well as from many other sources. The Associated Press does an excellent job with national ag information, while our county agent and ASCS reports get timely and inf important local information to our listeners. During the busy seasons, most farmers do not have time to read, but almost all of them have access to radio, and most of their information comes from that source. Farmers tune to KSAL for up-to-the-minute ag information. KSAL's programming is a unique blend of the information elements you've been hearing about, mixed in with music, entertaining air personalities, and a wide range of other special features. KSAL music is designed to appeal to an adult listener. We play songs by the most popular artists from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and today, including people like Elvis, The Beatles, The Carpenters, Neil Diamond, Kenny Rogers, and Whitney Houston. KSAL air personalities are topical, funny, friendly, and involved in our community. KSAL regularly programs a birthday salute, an anniversary salute, hospital reports, health features, a community events program providing free advertising to not-for-profit organizations, and a wide variety of contests. Sundays are special on KSAL with the Waxworks program of music from the big band era airing in the morning and Dick Clark's Rock Roll and Remember broadcast in the evening. From school closing information in the winter to announcements of softball game rainouts in the summer, KSAL programming is something people in our area have depended on for over 50 years. Our commitment to that tradition continues as strongly as ever today. KSAL's commitment to public affairs in Salina and the community is second to none. KSAL is 100% involved with a terrific kids program each week on KSAL and the Smoky Hill River Festival. Walk America, Child Abuse Prevention, the United Way, and working with the Salina Area Chamber of Commerce on a number of projects for the city. Our 10 hours of sharing each year in the Angel Tree at Christmas time and the Great American Race when it comes rolling through Salina are more examples of the total effort on KSAL's part. The range of activities in the area of public service is, of course, endless. KSAL works with various agencies in Salina to provide coverage for the Salina Police and Fire Departments, the Kansas Highway Patrol, Saline County Sheriff's Department, Al-Anon and Alateen, the Salina Public Library, Salina Humane Association, anti-drug and alcohol campaigns, Kansas Tourism, and the Kansas Taxi Project are just a few of the many that come to mind. All material produced and air on KSAL at no charge to the agency. Yes, KSAL's public affairs commitment to the city of Salina and to our community can truly be summed up in one word. Total. As you can see, people make the difference, and we hope you've enjoyed the behind-the-scenes look of KSAL. And as always, thank you for listening. <laughs>